For the first time in nearly nine years, Tennessee executed an inmate tonight. Child murderer and rapist Billy Ray Irick was pronounced dead by lethal injection at 748. It was a brutal crime. Irick raped and killed seven-year-old Paula Dyler from Knoxville in 1985. Local 24's Mary Jo Ola joins us live in the newsroom now with the latest. Mary Jo. Yeah, Richard, following the execution, Paula Dyer's family and Eirik's attorney declined to talk with media during a news conference. But a media witness said she could see Paula's family during the process and noted a woman leaned in close as Eirik took his last breath. She did not see any visible emotion. At 7.26 p.m. Thursday, witnesses say convicted murderer and rapist Billy Ray Eirik sighed and declined any last words but then said, I just want to say I'm really sorry, and that's it. A set of drugs were injected, and nearly 20 minutes later, Eirik was pronounced dead. Eirik's execution comes more than 30 years after he raped and killed seven-year-old Paula Dyer. People held vigils across the state, including here in Memphis. About three dozen people met in Midtown, protesting the death penalty and showing support for the families impacted. Taking a life doesn't bring back another life. There are cases that are so horrendous, that are so terrible, that a death penalty is the only appropriate sentence. Congressman Jimmy Duncan was the judge in Eirik's initial trial. He says the last minute appeal talked about the pain Eirik would feel during execution. He believes it pales in comparison to what Paula Dyer must have felt. It's terrible to think of, of what must have gone through the mind of that little seven-year-old girl because she, uh, the proof showed that she was alive when she was being raped and then she's being suffocated by a, a person that she referred to as uh, apparently called him Uncle Bill. While waiting for his client's execution, Eirik's attorney told a media witness, I never thought for one moment that it would come to this. I never did. I thought somebody would actually look at the facts. I was wrong. Live in the newsroom, Mary Jaola, Local 24 News.